Hi there, I'm Josvia and today I'm painting the giraffe I made in a previous video, so if you haven't watched that, please don't, that video was terrible. The fact is, we have this giraffe made out of clay and we have to paint it. First I'm going to sand it, just making sure it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going in with some white paint, painting the whole thing in a nice base coat, so that my colors will look nice and bright. So I was trying to mix up a nice yellow color with a lot of white, some brown and orange. But that was looking really bad and desaturated, so I tried again with less white, but I still wasn't satisfied, so I just wiped that all off and tried again. This time going in with a straight yellow, as well as a touch of brown and white to create my main body giraffe. While I was painting the face, this happened. This does sometimes happen with clay and it's one of the reasons why the armature is so important. But that's fine, I'll just fix it later. I went absent for a sec there, I got some hard plastic glue and just stuck the lower horn antenna back on. I was using a hair dryer to help make the paint and glue dry faster. Now I'm mixing up a nice warm brown color and I'm going to start creating those big brown spots that giraffes have. At first I used the paintbrush, but then I changed to the end of a different brush, using it kind of like a dotting tool. I was looking at a photo of a real giraffe for reference, but I'm obviously not trying to go for reals. I just want to create something that looks like a giraffe. I painted the muzzle brown as seen on my reference, but then I went a bit too far with the realism here. I noticed that inside of the giraffe's ear is like a light grey color, so I wanted to recreate that, but I hated how that looked, so I needed to wipe that off. I went in with a very very dark grey for the hooves, which gave them a nice contrast to the rest of the sculpture. And now it's time for another mistake. I mixed myself a very desaturated reddish purple for the little tie. That ended up as well as the ear, so instead I used a red with a touch of yellow for the tie. I painted in the eyes, only the top of them for now, and then I finally painted the grass with a light yellow, cause that's how the grass looks in a savanna. I went back to add another layer of brown to all of these spots.
added another layer of white to the eyes, being very, very careful and not ruining the rest of the face. And from this point on, most of these steps is just touching up. First the thigh, then all of the hooves. A little break from that to paint the pupils, which you can't really see, but that's fine. I also painted the insides of the nose black. I decided to paint its belly and ears in this pale yellow color. I'm not fully satisfied with that, but I was too lazy to fix it, so... And oh look, I'm back to touching up. How exciting, I know. Now it's time to fix that droopy eye, so I painted over that with white. I also used white to cover all messy spots, because the white paint is much more pigmented and it'll be easier to go over it with the yellow. I looked at the grass for a while now and decided it looked dead, so I went over that with a more saturated color. I painted back the eye and, final detail, I added some white dots to the tie. To finish this, I'm going to use wood glue. I'm pouring some of it into a container and then I diluted it with water and painted that on. It looks a bit white, but it dries completely transparent and it works great. I also added in some more layers of camera. And that's it! I really hope you enjoyed this video and like what I made. This video took me a while to make, but it was definitely worth it because I love the result. I can't decide what to name it though, so if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's all for today and to the next time. See you!